I'm Carl Anthony with AutoSense TV here in the heart of the Motor City at AutoSense Detroit 2018, speaking today with Bauman Haji from On Semiconductor. He has an expansive role with the company. Bauman, it's exciting to be able to talk to you today. Tell us a little bit about what you do with On Semiconductor. Thanks, Carl. Uh, so I'm a product manager in the Automotive Solutions Division of our Image Sensor Group. So On Semiconductor has several different divisions. We make a lot of different semiconductor components. Components, uh, analog parts, uh, power power parts, and uh, the image sensor group. We uh, focus on image sensors as well as other sensing solutions like uh, radar and other modalities as well. And uh, I manage uh, some of our image sensor products that are targeted at the automotive applications like uh, viewing, which means surround view and rear view camera applications, as well as driver assistance systems and so forth. Bauman, talk to me now. What are some of the advantages to your product? What are some of the technical advantages to it? What makes it different than maybe other things that are in the market? So uh, one of the things that uh, we've just uh, introduced last year is our new Hayabusa product platform and uh, this product platform has a new type of pixel technology called uh, which enables a super exposure. What that means is we're able to capture a lot more signal, a lot more charge within a single uh, capture on the image sensor and this basically allows you to get more dynamic range in a single frame. The reason that's important is because, especially in automotive applications where you have high dynamic range scenes, you're also starting to see a lot of uh, different types of lighting which are pulse width modulated, uh, for example in vehicle headlights and taillights as well as traffic signs. And while our eyes can't see these lights being pulsed on and off, the camera will actually see that happen, especially when it tries to capture a bright scene, which means it has to have a short exposure time. So by having a super exposure, what we do is we can capture out 100,000 electrons of charge, which means that we can capture enough dynamic range to not oversaturate the image while still capturing those uh, LEDs that are pulsing on and off. I want to dive in here because you have such a great display at AutoSense, a number of technical innovations on the table. So take us through one at a time. What are we seeing here at your display? So what we've got here is a two megapixel global shutter sensors targeted at automotive applications in a reference design that we provide which also has it paired with infrared LEDs and what we're showing is illumination of the scene with these infrared LEDs uh, the global shutter sensor capturing the image and then we have software that's running uh, built by one of our uh, partners called EyeSight, which is doing uh, gaze detection, face tracking, it can even guess your age based on the f feature sets of your face. And uh, this is really showing a, an in-cabin application of our uh, Global Shutter Automotive Sensor. And uh, a, th a third thing that we've, we've done on this demo, which is we've partnered with a different company called 3M. They make a coating which can basically block visible light from going through while allowing the infrared light to still go through and that means that you can put a film on top of the camera which uh, hides the camera from the driver so that the driver monitoring is happening without the driver feeling like they're being uh, in, intruded, in being intruded upon. <laughs> now, Bauman, one of the big themes at AutoSense is autonomous driving, the future of mobility. So from your position in the market, what are some of the biggest challenges facing autonomous driving today? So we have a number of different uh, challenges to that, that the whole industry is facing as uh, you're going towards autonomous driving where previously you were looking at driver assistance and safety features. Uh, one of them is, uh, of course, additional levels of functional safety which has always been important uh, in automotive, but you're talking about even more redundancy and something that's kind of uh, become a, an additional standard to meet is uh, cyber security. So the transmission of any data uh, is going to be very important to be secured, especially when you're talking about the cameras and the sensors, which are the eyes of the vehicle. So we're looking at things to be able to basically enable uh, features to encrypt data that's being sent from the camera to the host processor so that um, you're able to authenticate 
the sensor uh, data coming into the processor so that it can't be spoofed and uh, you can't have data that's been recorded previously overlaid and trick the system into thinking a car is not in front of it. Uh, so it's another thing that you need to be able to control um, and uh, an, an additional challenge that we, we were looking at. We've already announced uh, a product that can actually support this targeted at uh, automotive uh, autonomous driving applications. We spoke with the Sensel team yesterday. We heard the news that you had acquired Sensel. The team was thrilled. They were ecstatic. They're so excited about the future to work with you. Any thoughts on that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I've known Wade from uh, primarily these AutoSense conferences for the last uh, two years, um, and they they have great technology. And I, you know, I, we were very happy to uh, have this acquisition be announced, and and it's it really integrates well with our company strategy, which is that. Um, we can have additional sensor modalities still uh, that are going to be important to the uh, autonomous driving future. And as on semiconductor, we're now going to be able to be a component supplier uh, of image sensors, which go on cameras, of uh, radar products for, uh, for radar, in addition to the silicon photomultipliers, which are going to be very important for the LiDAR solutions of the future. And uh, the entire Sensel team is coming over to On Semiconductor and um, reporting into our image sensor group. So in terms of the automotive solutions division, uh, part of our image sensor group will be, will be able to uh, work together very closely, even more closely than we had been from a partnership standpoint previously. Well, all of us here at AutoSense want to congratulate you on your success, wish you the best of luck going forward. Do you have any final thoughts to add before we wrap up? Uh, no, thanks, Carl, and I uh, look forward to seeing you again at uh, future conferences. You're always uh, a treat to, to have. You ask uh, insightful questions at the, uh, at the talks also, so thank you. Baman Haji from On Semiconductor, a bright future ahead and some amazing cutting-edge technology here at AutoSense Detroit. For more AutoSense TV, find us on YouTube.